quickly now. We go to Norfolk Christian and Atlantic Shores in the quarterfinals matchup as both these teams met a couple weeks ago and was a Norfolk Christian blowout. But early on, Atlantic Shores trying to change all that as a three ball knocked in from the left wing by Ryan Stowe. Yeah, this game played in Petersburg on the campus of Virginia State, Chris, and it was a very competitive game early on. A Christian on the break, nice lay in here as the uh, Ambassadors get out to a quick lead. Quanti Moore with the basket as the Seahawks defense fails them there. Now Mike Murray goes behind the back and the ball is going to be moved around to the right wing as Mario Nixon's going to hit the open J for three. Norfolk Christian out to a good start, 20 to nine. Going into the second quarter, we haven't seen James McAdoo yet, but we're about to change all of that right here, Matt. Nice transition will lead to this pass. Oh wait, I mean alley -oop to James McAdoo. When it's your night, it's your night, and certainly would be McAdoo's night, as we see one more time. The nice defensive deflection prevents the dunk for Nixon, but not so much for McAdoo. Yeah, the former Tar Heel right there, able to slam that one home, and we see Atlantic Shores now coming back, going all the way to the basket with some pretty nice uh, green shoes there. Yeah, they look, they look like they stepped in some radioactive ooze due to the Seahawks as the shot is hit by Justin Watson. But again, McAdoo inside is going to have a shot blocked once. And then the second shot is blocked, this time by Omegon. But again, back the other way, the Norfolk Christian defense says, we've got a shot blocker of our own in Courtney Wynn. And now the Seahawks will get a little careless with the basketball. And James McAdoo will make sure he deposits it directly into the basket. Yes, the fans at Virginia State did not know they were going to be in uh, attendance for a slam dunk competition. There's McAdoo with a nice slam there. Now back at Lennox Shores, knocks down the three from the left wing. Not just a dunk, but also a three-point shooting contest as Will Wentz hits the jumper. 13 points is the lead from Norfolk Christian as the second half play begins. And down low, it'll be the Seahawks, seven foot two big man Jordan Ogmiben scoring the basket and the foul. Who was that, Chris? Don't ask me to say it again, <laughs> Matt, because you'll probably get another another uh, pronunciation. Is again inside the Seahawks go. This time the dunk poured in by Daniel Robinson. I thought you could do it because you know your street cred. I'm sorry. 53-36. It's a fourth quarter lead for Norfolk Christian. The fans obviously excited, as you can see by their patty cake display there in the stands. Now we're back on the floor. Mike Murray with the beautiful bounce pass. James McAdoo going for style points. I give him a nine, nine and a half for that reverse jam. Yeah, you know, a nice re uh, reverse. We'll take another look at it here. You see the plant, the turn. Yeah, I give it about a nine and a half. And then a little bit of hanging, and he pointed out to his teammate for the thanks for the assist. If only he had dunked over Subaru, he could have gotten that 10. Over who? And now <laughs> McAdoo inside, draws the contact, scores, and he's fouled. James McAdoo with an impressive display of all-around skills, 71-50 the final score. Norfolk Christian over Atlantic Shores. McAdoo with 44 points. Mario Nixon next up with eight for the Ambassadors. And Norfolk Christian would take the VISA AA championship for the second straight year, 59-45 over Middleburg Academy. McAdoo with a quiet 19 points in that one. On the girls' side, Cape Henry, Norfolk Christian matching up for the third time. And it's a three-game sweep for the Dolphins as they defeat Norfolk Christian 61-56. Pollard with 16, Ashanti Kennedy with 14 points. On the other side in the quarterfinals, St. Anne's Belfield with a 21-point victory over Hampton Roads Academy. As Sarah Emmabaugh had 30 points for St. Anne's Belfield. And in the championship game, wasting no time, Cape Henry with the victory and their first state title, 70-58. Pollard and Kennedy each with 18 points. And in Division Three, Williamsburg Christian with a 55-52 victory over Tywater Academy and Williamsburg Christian 68-61 over Millier. Cox Communications is literally the lifeblood of what I do. Bundle. Mm -hmm. Got a nice little bundle there. Yes, it's great. Do love, you love it. Love it? Love it. Hey, glad you made it. Check out the great offers. 